Recently, there's been a lot of advancement with the iPad and of course, LumaFusion. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun. iPad OS and iOS 13 have allowed the iPhone and the iPad to function a lot more like a traditional computer. And for editing and color correction, that's a really good thing for us filmmakers. Being able to import files and footage off a drive really opens up this system to higher end and more professional projects. But does this work with older iPads or iPhones using the lightning port? The answer is yes. If you follow my podcast, you know that I've been working on a color correction course using LumaFusion. And so today I'm going to show an excerpt from this course showing how to connect an SSD to an older iPad and to an iPhone. All right, so now we'll look at using a wired SSD drive. And this is a really popular one. It's a Samsung T5. And so I mentioned earlier in the what you need section about these adapters. And so this is the adapter I was talking about. And it is a USB 3 to Lightning. And so I would take the, this is actually a USB-C, and I have it connected to a USB-C to USB 3. <laughs> And so that would go in here, and then this would go into the iPad. Now, you'll see right away that nothing is happening. No lights blinking. I can't see anything in the files. It's not there right now. So I'll go to the files directory. Normally it would be listed over here on the side. That's why this adapter is important for older iPads or iPhones that don't have a USB-C adapter. And of course, no phones at this point have that. It's only the newer iPads. This drive needs power. And so you plug that in, and now you've got a blue light kicking in on the SSD. And then now the SSD popped up right here. I can click there, and you can see the stuff on that drive. Now these are unsupported files. It's Blackmagic raw footage. There's an iPhone shot right there I did of a foggy bridge. So then I can go into LumaFusion. I could do add link to folder. I could go here, my drive. Right now that's the only folder on there. So I would hit done. And again, the other clips aren't there, but this clip is. That's the fog shot I was talking about. You'll notice how much faster that played and came up compared to the wireless SSD. The wireless SSD is convenient and it's kind of cool to be able to edit like that. But for speed, a wired one is far superior. And then I could take that and drag that in. And that's already in the project that came in almost instantly. So again, using an older iPad, you'll need this USB with power adapter. If you have an iPad Pro, you could just go straight in from USB-C to USB-C and bypass the adapter and everything will work fine. And of course, this works great with iPhones as well. They have a lightning port like the older iPad. Plug this in. Blue lights kick on. And there's the drive. And there are the files. Now you could import these files into LumaFusion or whatever else you wanted to use. If you're interested in this course, there's a link in the description and it's available on my website. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.